Hello and welcome to C programming tutorial series. In this video, you are going to learn about C program for diamond pattern. Now, here I am going to explain you about how you can write a code for printing this kind of special characters as well as printing this kind of numbers in a diamond pattern and then finally you can also print the alphabets in a diamond pattern all we are going to see in this single video so let's start so as you can see that in a diamond pattern we have a number of rows and number of columns so we can see this thing in this way also so it is like number of rows over here we can see that there are four number of rows and seven columns so what we are doing is we are considering this upper part of this diamond pattern that is half pyramid and then we need to print out the below part that is lower part so let's first identify the logic for this so first you can see that here we have a number of rows is 4 that is 1 2 3 and 4 and number of column is 7 that is here we have 1 2 7 now if you observe that as we have number of rows is 4 let's consider n equal to 4 that is a fixed number and then we have r so r is basically indicating the row number at which we are so it can be a 1 to 4 over here and then we have space so where is the space this is the space here we have 3 space at the first position then we have 2 and then third so like number of row is increasing the space are reducing if you can see over here if i consider n as a 4 and i am at first row then the 4 minus 1 is 3 so we have a 3 number of spaces over here if i am at second row so 4 minus 2 is what 2 so we are at this and similarly for 3 and 4 so number of space is what n minus r and then we have the value that we need to print out over here so first you can see that we have one value over here and then we have a three number of values then five and in the end we have a seven so as number of row is increasing this number are also increasing for the first row we can say that it is 2r minus 1 so r is what we are at first position 1 multiply by 2 so 2 and 2 minus 1 is what we have the 1 so here we can be whenever we are going to print in a for loop it will be printing one value when we at second row that is r equal to 2 so 2 into 2 is what 4 and 4 minus 1 is what 3 so the for loop is going to be run for three times and it is going to be print the three value when we have at third so six minus one is five and when we have at fourth row it will be a eight minus one that is seven so that's how we are going to print this first this pyramid and then with the help of another for loop with the reverse logic we will print this part so whole together will make a complete diamond pattern and the same thing we can do for the alphabets as well as number also so let's see the program so now i am going to show you how we can write a c program for diamond pattern i am using visual studio code with for c programming you can use uh, any tool or any online compiler also so let's take first our variables they are integer n we have r and we have c that we have discussed in our logic now first we need to print out we need a number of rows so we will say enter the number of rows and it will be equal to this now we will do a scanf so it will read it and here we have integer value so person d comma address of we are going to store in n so it will be a n okay so first what we have done and now we are going to printing all those things so here you can see that now for we will start with r is 1 so we are at first row then 
r will be less than or equal to n it means we are going towards the fourth one if we are considering a fourth row or whatever will be the end of the row then we have r plus plus so every time it is going to be increased now what we need in this case every time we are printing the one line it should be end with a slash n so we need to go to the new line so what we'll say here we have printf slash n so the job of this is what it will every time it will go to the new line but whenever at the first line what we need we need the number of space so number of space means what we can go for for loop again c equal to now again we will start with one then c is less than or equal to n minus r for a space we have written our logic as n minus r and we are going to increment this so what this for loop will do it will print the space so now you can understand that if we have c is 1 okay c is less than n minus r so n is right now we have 4 as fixed let's say we are considering number of rows as 4 and r is what 1 so 4 minus 1 uh, is 3 so it is going to be print 3 space over here so this part is also done and then next we are looking to print out the star or whatever the logic that we have so again for that i will take another for loop from c equal to 1 c is less than now we have the logic for our value so it is 2 into r minus 1 and c plus plus so c, r, c is all going to be increment and here we what we need to do is we need to print the star so this is a simple program that will print the star for a number of given rows so let me just run this code so you can see that it is asking for number of rows i will enter four so here we go the first part is done the first pyramid that we need is achieved now for a diamond so for diamond you need to do a reverse logic that means here instead of r equal to 1 we will start from the last one that is n minus 1 and we will check that whether r is greater than 1 or not and we will reduce the r till the 1 so that simple it is so now if i will run this again you can see that if i will enter 4 so i think we should start from r is less greater than or equal to 1 so that's why it is not printing the last one so again let's try it and here we go we have the complete pattern you can check it for any number let's say we want to check for 10 so here we go this is for the 10 so now i am going to tell you how you can print this number instead of a star in a diamond pattern so this logic is very simple you just need to focus on this first part that means these things we need to print when c is less than or equal to r it means we know that for this first line we have r is 1 so we need to print 1 now when we have r equal to 2 so it should goes up to 1 and 2 when we have r 3 then it will be 1 2 3 and when we have r equal to 4 it will be 1 2 3 4 so what we need to do is we need to print a c for this particular range now when c value will become greater than this it means when c is greater than r in this case what we need to print is the 2r minus c why because let's consider the example over here here we have only one value of c here we have three value but here when it comes to so c will be like one two and three over here the value of c is three over here so it is three 
now which row it is so it is second row so 4 so 2 into r means 2 into 2 is what so 4 4 minus 3 is what 1 so it will print 1 over here now when it come here at that time we have c what is the value of column so it is 3 already over here so it will be a 4 over here so value of c is what 4 and what is the value of r so it is 1 2 and 3 so it is what 2 into 3 is 6 so 6 minus 4 is like 2 and when we have c equal to 5 over here so what it will do 6 minus 5 is 1 and similarly for this also so that's very simple thing instead of printing star only we need to put this to condition and it will print the numbers and the rest of the thing we can do in a reverse thing also so that's how we can print the number instead of a star so let's see the code so let me just comment this now here we will put the condition that if c is less than or equal to r that means our column is less than or equal to r so here you can see that we have the half of pyramid just like this so for this particular values the left portion what we need is we need one two three and whatever the number of row that we have till that we need to print simply the row number so we will say that print f person d comma whatever the number of row we have that is c here c is also going from one to the number so this will print what uh, our initial numbers and then else otherwise at the right hand side what we need to print out is person d comma 2r minus c now in the else part you must be thinking that why we are printing this 2r minus c because this c is moving from 1 to 7 now while we are printing at a, a at the first side what we need is just like that we have let's say 1 2 and 3 then 2 and 1 so this is already done 1 2 3 is already printed with this upper loop upper if condition now in the else now what would happen that now c is less than or equal to r is not true it will goes into the else and now in this case we have to print this 2 and the 1 so it is like 2 into r r is currently we have here we are we can see that it is n minus 1 so n is 4 so 4 minus 1 is 3 so 6 2r is what 6 and minus c so c we have as you can see that 1 2 3 and 4 so 6 minus 4 is what it is going to be 2 and next time it is going to be 1 so that's how it is going to be print the reverse thing so let's check this code okay you have to do the same thing over here also so i will just copy paste over here so let's run this so i will enter it as a 5 so you can see that we have this is one it will go to the maximum and then it will go to the reverse thing so this is how you can print the number so now let me show you how you can print the characters so for character we are going to add 64 in it and this will be a uh, person c because we are printing the character and here also it will be like 64 because for the capital letter person c and here also it is 64 person c and the 64 so this will print the alphabets and it will be in the capital letters uppercase so here we go let me enter the five so yes it is printing in the capital letter so this is you can see that this is how the diamond is printing with capital letter if you need a smaller one replace this 64 with 96 so we have at four place 
I will replace all and I will run this again. Now this time I am going to print it for let's say 4. So here we go, we have in the small or lower alphabets also. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any question related to C program or if you want me to explain any C program, please mention in the comment box. Thank you so much for watching this video.